very good evening to all of you welcome to the very first very third tutorial for pro stm microcontroller in this tutorial we will be you know understanding the id that is the co id i think in the previous tutorial you have all installed the cofox and uh, so after that just click on start and you will see an icon something like this co id i can just click on that and uh, yeah you will see something like this then go ahead and click on this create a new project and give any project name let's say my first project first project okay and then i will recommend rather than using the default path create your own path okay so in the desktop i have created one folder called cocox projects and in that uh, you know there's i can create a new folder let's say my first project i will recommend you that you give the same folder name as the project folder it will be very helpful in future um, i will tell you why in the later section but uh, i will recommend you do just to follow create try to give same name to the project folder as whatever whatever the whatever the name you have given to the project okay go ahead and click ok and ok and now click on next select, select the tip and click on next now you will see as i already told you that this cocox id is not only useful for programming this stm but also various other companies like texas instruments atmel arm and uh, toshiba and all but uh, for this tutorial we will be focusing on stm and you can see there is something called st there click on this arrow button and now you will find something like this uh, well this layer this depends on whatever the controller you have chosen for me my controller is stm32 f053 r8 so i have to go to here and again i have to, I have to choose the specific version of my controller as simple as that okay this one stm32 f051 r8 so whatever the controller you have chosen go ahead and select that and click on finish and now you will be seeing something like this a repository what the repository is it will be basically help you to you know grab all the libraries which you will be needing for creating your project for example in the very you know for the first project we'll, which, which we'll be doing we have to you know as always for any uh, embedded project you have to blink an LED so for blink an LED you have to use a peripheral called GPIO which calls general purpose input output so go ahead and click on this GPIO and if you click on that there will be other things automatically being done by the scope box like this M0 simple scores image boot RCC all these are nothing but the libraries which will be very useful for you know creating the project uh, why these libraries and what is the function of these libraries i will be discussing in great detail later on but for now we will just know that okay there is all these libraries are being added and you can see here that after clicking that there are tons of libraries here so this is the library folder and in this there is a library added called rcc.h so yeah also the most uh, you can also see the api okay this thing also i will be discussing in the later part just see this thing uh, there will be an icon called uh, examples okay for gpio let's just click on that gpio examples and you will see there are like four examples they have given for io toggle led blinking keypad and all so you know it will be just okay just you can go ahead and run this example but for now you just know that okay you can have whatever the peripheral like if we have selected a gpio they are also providing some few examples to you know play around with that's it and uh, other thing are you need to understand about this ide is that uh, where you will be actually writing your code then you go down there you will be seeing something called main.c 
go ahead and double click on main.c and you will find this editor over here in which you have already mentioned like a main and while one okay those as i already told you that uh, those who have already have basic idea upon c so they won't they won't be needing any introduction what the main is or the while one is if you don't know c i will highly recommend you please go ahead and just you know at least learn the basics of c and then come back to this tutorial okay so and okay so you have got a little bit idea about this id but the but whatever the code you are writing you have to check for the errors also so as you can see there is some icon called build so you can whatever the code written on the main if, uh, for checking the errors go ahead and you can push that button or press f7 and it will you know check for errors whether there is some error or not obviously we haven't written anything so there won't be an error and uh, okay and this is the button for rebuild and this is the button for debugging this i will be discussing this debugging mode which is very very useful for embedded system design i will be telling you this also in great detail and uh, yeah this button is actually being used to download the code to flash so this will be help this code will help you to burn the code okay so in the next tutorial we will be you know just try to burn any simple program into a con into a controller and see what happens uh, so thank you so at last i will always say that please follow please subscribe to this channel and follow the uh, follow our facebook page and follow this blog all the details are being already been given in the description thank you